Oh yeah, okay. so let's get out of here playing some more. <laughs> Sorry. Off them. Nice. Now, yeah, um, since I was back, I don't know if I'm loading for. But yeah, uh, the Death Baron has just come on now. Well, that's what it's called. Uh, yeah, and now uh, I know a lot of videos that are in, like three videos on this. I always thought, I, I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about Legacy after I played every character, so I'm going to play one more character after you know, this. I'm going to play as um, Red Hood, then Robin, and then put my worst Legacy back on. And this is still.
Ja, det er så det er jo... Det er sjovt. Det er sjovt, man sagde en velhud. Jeg kan sånn greit plutselig. Bare en greie her, honestly. England is a hot place now. We're in the summer. Belfry, I'm near Talia's location. Good, but be careful. Don't worry, not my first run in with Talia. Don't trust her for a damn second. Belfry out. Talia, I thought you and your league would have packed your bags by now. I'm not their commander. They cast me out. You're the daughter of their leader. Burning his body would have pretty much guaranteed your place at the top. My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the League, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. It doesn't make sense. Why would Raish kill Bruce if he was his successor? I agree. It was an irrational win. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. Why bother killing him, then? It's not like he would have been a threat to you. What was it really about? Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him, and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. I guess your time in Gotham has finally come to an end. I have other matters to attend to. The funeral. Was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Leave Bruce out of this. This is between you and me. Now answer my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cow break into the morgue? I know you aren't following me. It's an ongoing investigation. Mm. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. Ugh. Belfry, it looks like Talia's got her own mission here. We heard. I think we had to enjoy it. Uh...
no. I was getting new applications, I was sorry, no. Uh, use it if you want. Oh, I can, uh, I sure can I? So back. Guys, stopped. Uh, six. One more. Oh, uh, Six and just you. So Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive, and that's how we got this video. Help. Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it. And we'll know. been out of Gotham ever since, you know, her ex. Killed me? Isn't that what you meant? Rumor has it she did some government thing. Went straight. Ish. She's got something. Then we go find Harley. Now. I mean, very sure it's... Do you think this Harley thing is really worth following up on? Har I was just thinking of that time we all made dinner together, and Tim got tomato sauce all over Bruce and Bass. <laughs> I don't remember that. What? No, you have to. It was the same year. You know what? 
Never mind. Dumb story anyway. Well, I could tell you a story. It's about being dead. Then brought back to life by a pit of mind-altering goo. Hey, I, I didn't mean that. I don't know what's worse. Having a chunk of my life taken away from me, or coming back to everyone thinking I'm gonna snap. I'm sorry, Jason. We shouldn't have... I shouldn't have treated you like an outsider. My god, you're such a boy scout. No wonder you were the first. Bad. What Talia said about the league is disgusting. If they really are without the media, then there's no telling what they'll do next. You think they'll behave and stay put for a change? I doubt it. It's worth a shot. Oh, in a bit it. Oh, right. Oh, it doesn't work. So uh, we will. Okay. Ah, oh, villains. Okay. I could have done use the uh, acrylic cakes and flips mixed with the uh, massive. So we had to fight through anyone in our way. For seven and really stubborn, Alice got an got an intense sense of her own abilities that we didn't in the stop. Firstly, Dr. Harley Quinzel, a raging star in the field of psychology, she turned a life of crime a feeling on the chaos it offered. She worked with many worst enemies for some time before going on her own her own way. Harley has recently shown the science of she's interested in meditation and I want to believe she is capable of it. I refuse her to assist me with something on her latest case. Something she is really qualified to help me to help with. May hope this is this is she'll get a taste of the good that she can do and may help her leave. Wait, I got a message with Clark Kent and Superman. 
It's, it's Jay. Hey Jason, it's Clark. I know we don't know each other all that well, but I want to teach out. Uh, Bruce always said you kept your motion close to the chest. When Bruce calls someone close off, I know it's serious. I was thinking about that today, and now it might mean I might mean that it might mean that you don't have a lot of people. You're comfortable speaking with without. Um, what you went through, Bruce meant a great deal to me, and I just wanted to send off of that. Should you ever find yourself in need of someone to talk to, I would be happy to do so. It's nice to let us all to know each other. I hope you are really consider Clark Kent. Hello. I did, I heard about what happened with Brooklyn. That's, yeah, you never want a discussion with me. Maybe you, me, and Cora can find ourselves some trouble to get into. You know, get a little band back together. I know if a few heads down, my way, that could be used for busting and whether show beats Gotham. Then, then a row. Yeah, I'll sit and listen. Oh, that's me.
Someone's attacking me! was built on top of a fort dating back to colonial times. And you're giving me a history lesson. Why? I studied the architectural plans and found some oddities. There may be an entrance to the west. Thanks, Belfry. I'll go check that out. to take the side entrance. Belfry, I got in. Next stop, Harley's cell. The X on her map corresponds to cell block 3, past Nexus processing. The guards have withdrawn their patrols from that block. So there's no telling how bad things have gotten in there. Great. Send the doc in to take a look at him. Can't stand that guy. You know this escape attempt is gonna buy him two more years at least. Yep. Now I hate him even more.
Party balloons and a fight. Harley must be nearby. Deadhood. Looks like you've been eating well. Still big as an ox and twice as mean. <laughs> <laughs> been a while, Harley. You good? Hmm. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? You were looking into something for Batman. What was it? Profile some criminals. On account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. Guess of all the criminals he knew, you'd be the one to ask. Hey! I am not a criminal! I misunderstood. <laughs> Look, you know what I'm here for. Hand it over. Everything is in this book. But I'm missing my piece de resistance. I need you 
to follow up on this here card. Figures you're not making this easy for me. It should be done in records. Okay. Bye. Maybe that goes down to the basement. This guy's bru he's brutal. <laughs>
Come on, Harley. You're too smart to just send me on an errand after an old file. What do you want me to find out? Diamond was also always a hair lover. <laughs> something more in this catalog. They say, what they say, murder they say, but soon peace will be mine. Died on Saturday, buried on Sunday, born on Monday. Wait, uh, born on Monday, Christian on Tuesday, married on Wednesday. It's on the Grundy, is it? They had no idea. I tend to know from the guy from the guy who confirmed they they did in fact have no idea what Gold was writing about. He died later that month during to during a plan transfer to Argo Island on Saturday. This is dying on Saturday, so in Gotham. The plague of Gold Go continues at least a dozen years in Gotham. This is the cemetery. We dug up last night. The Gazette had learned police had no comments, but eyewitnesses say they saw signs of up and nervous graves throughout the site. The news comes that days after a local woman claimed to see her deceased husband walking down the street at night and claimed Dr. Ellis Arkham had to introduce her. It's gonna see me free. John Crowley says she's John Crowley, she's been here before. Name was Elliot back then. They said that straight they say string of murders. Sorry, I was wrong. <laughs> Resembles what's in her more in her novel. That's the rich. She she's a writer. For Pete's Pete's sake. She reads the paper, but in a private cell. Don't worry, like her like. Ink uh, ink 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 ink. Uh, it it never sticks around for long. She'll be out before we know it, and tell her thanks for signing my book. And this should be the last one. John Bryan was a Gotham City lawyer in the mid 1800s. For assisted former slaves and the uh, papers successfully.
Here's what Harley was looking for. I think I found out all I can about this case. I wonder what Harley will have to say about it. Hopefully this is tied to what Batman was after. Harley want from this file. Harley's mind is a maze, but it's still amazing. She must have a good reason. Good job, everyone. Made things even worse. back and I got you what you wanted Gibby now how will I get this to you? Seriously, do I look like I'm 12 to you?
in the rain. Damn, wrong way. You don't want to do it, you s- I'm gonna do it, okay. I'm low <laughs> That's awesome though. Get ready for the <coughs> Shit. Yeah, that was That's epic though. I love that. It's like in a good version of the the uh, Loka. I didn't know the version of it, I thought it just I forgot his name, but yeah. What the hell am I supposed to do with this, Harley? Ha ah, ha ha, very funny. <laughs> I can just continue. Uh. Hiya, dead hood. Miss me? Harley, I didn't give you this number. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I wanted you to know that you'll be seeing me again real soon. Goodbye! And she hung up. Of course. And I forgot I can just Yeah. Uh no for auto. <laughs> go for auto. <laughs> oh yeah, if you want me to do series with that guy, yeah, go for Dota, I will do. And I will it do one size because I will not go to the truck clubs or any one time. Then I'll show each other person has problems. But I mean he showed he showed tits on this channel um cry. If you don't know who cry is, uh, just write it down his YouTube still over, he's not doing any YouTube anymore. He just he just stopped making YouTube videos. This is all enemies defeated. <laughs> I thought everybody. <laughs> okay, let's stop it here. I added new evidence to the board. In today's Gotham Minute, we focus on a prominent and often controversial figure, Oswald Cobblepot. The most infamous, if not famous, member of Gotham's long established Cobblepot family, Oswald Cobblepot entered into business from a young age. These days, he can often be seen personally welcoming guests at his entertainment palace, the Iceberg Lounge. But it was only a few short years ago that Cobblepot was better known as the Penguin, a notorious gangster tried and convicted for a litany of financial and violent crimes. Cobblepot insists he's turned over a new leaf after serving his time. He says that the only penguins in Gotham now are the tuxedo guests of the Iceberg Lounge. This is GCN. I'm Rashid. 
Okay, so it's generally I don't buy it one bit. Okay, guys, I was gonna say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Get like, like, and all these. Keep saluting.